Question number 18. A woman with previous two abortions is undergoing a dilator test and an 8 Hagar dilator easily passes through the cervix. So, this woman who has aborted twice, I want to check if this cervix is having the consistency, it is having the capacity to hold a pregnancy. So, this, this is how the cervix should be. But sometimes the cervix becomes patchless with abortions or it is patchless because of some reason like a connective tissue disorder and the cervix is patchless like this then a dilator can easily go through this a eight french dilator can easily go through this so normally when the cervix allows a thin dilator to go in it has a lot of resistance and you have to do a lot of maneuverability that maneuverability to push the sound in the cervix tells us that service is a tightly closed place. Now, a 8 Hega dilator, something as thick as this pen, exactly a 8, eight dilator would be so thick. This thick dilator actually gets into the cervix very easily. That means the cervix is patulous. It's very loose. A loose cervix is known as an incompetent cervix. Okay, so that's why the answer is incompetent cervix. And septate, uniconvert, and uterine didelphus, these are just distractions. I'm sure all of you answered the incompetent cervix or incompetent os as the answer to this question. Mm -hmm.